Hello, welcome to this lesson on reading the pH scale. The question of the day, what do you already know about the pH scale? I like to say that pH stands for the power of hydrogen. It's not entirely true. The P is actually a mathematical operation, but that's aside the point. We can still talk about it as if it does mean power of hydrogen because that kind of is what it means. Uh, so the pH is a number that is used to specify the strength of an acid or a base, and it's going to be based on the amount of hydrogen ions dissolved in the solution. The entirety of the pH scale runs from 0 to 14. Numbers from 0 to 6 indicate that you're working with an acidic solution, 7 represents something neutral, and 8 to 14 represents something basic, or sometimes we say alkaline. The closer your solution is to the ends of the pH scale, the stronger it is an acid or base, depending on which end you're at. Water, remember we've been writing the formula HOH? Well, that's because it's equal parts acid, H, as it is OH, base, and that is going to kind of neutralize, um, you know, they kind of cancel each other out. So we wind up with a neutral solution. Pure water is neutral, coming in with a pH of 7. Now the pH scale can sound kind of tricky, so I'm gonna bring it all the way back to like kindergarten or first grade. Remember when you had a name tag on your desk and had your name written on it and it had all the letters of the alphabet and it had a number line? <laughs> That's the number line we're talking with right now. That was a linear scale. No one told you that in first grade. But to get from one number to the next, you would either add or subtract one. Simple enough. When you got to algebra two, maybe, you learned the logs log scales. Log scales, you move from one to two or from eight to seven by either multiplying or dividing by 10. Each jump on the scale represents something 10 times bigger or 10 times smaller than the number beside it. Now the pH scale is a negative log scale, so it just flips it backwards. So to go up the scale, you actually divide, and to go down the scale, you multiply. So what this means is that two is 10 times greater a value than three based on the way the logs work. Um, seven is a 10 times greater value than eight, a little bit backwards compared to what you would already know from learning logs. Some students may have to use this equation mathematically. I don't actually use it, but I think it's important to teach it regardless. pH, so the strength of an acid or a base, more or less, is equal to the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration as a molar concentration. So if you find the molarity of the hydrogen in this solution, and then put that in parentheses, take the negative log of it, you will get the pH value. As the concentration of hydrogen ions goes up, so you have more and more hydrogen in your solution, the pH actually goes down. It goes down the scale closer to one or zero. And that's because the equation has that negative sign in there. The negative log means that the more hydrogen ions you have, the lower your pH, it inverses it. Anytime you make one jump on the pH scale, we're talking about a tenfold difference. That's where the uh, multiplying or dividing by 10 really comes in. Two, or rather a pH of two is 10 times more acidic than a pH of three. Two jumps is 200 fold, uh, I'm sorry, two tenfold differences, which would be a 100 fold difference. Um, and that's because of the log scale. So if you had two and four, two is a hundred times more acidic than four because it's two jumps on the pH scale. So here we just have a picture. We have an acid with a pH of one versus an acid with a pH of two. And it's not necessarily that these ions are this large or um, that they would actually like be in this quantity. But here we have 10 hydrogens to one hydrogen ion in the pH of one versus two. Um, it's not actually 10 ions, it's quite a few. Um, we could say that this is representative of quite a few hydrogen ions. But the point here is that the pH of one is going to be a lot more acidic than a pH of two. You also can have, um, instead of it being 10 times more acidic, if it was five times more acidic, then this would be a pH of 1.5 versus two. They don't necessarily have to come in whole numbers.
When it comes to concentration and strength of acids and bases, we're going to specifically talk about the concentration of their respective ions. So for acids, we're talking about hydrogen ions, and for bases, we're talking about hydroxide ions. When we're talking about bases, the presence of OH and the lack of hydrogen ions is going to really make it a base. So in this case, we have a pH of 10, and then we have a pH of 11, so you're going to have 10 times as much hydroxide ions, or really 10 times as fewer <laughs> hydrogen ions. So here, um, a pH of 10 is 10 times more acidic than 11, right? But 11 is 10 times more basic than 10. It takes practice. All right, that is all on the pH scale. Uh, please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next lesson. Leave any questions you have in the comment section below the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.